and welcome back everybody number 13 in today's episode uh we just made it to the antique store uh finally managed to save so we're gonna go through and see what we find i bet you i can push this thing yes Before I answer the hole, I'm gonna check to see if there's other. What's this? Okay, I guess I have to enter though. Oh she. Harry. Hey. Sybil. Ah, oh, I'm glad you're okay. I shouldn't have left you. Things are worse than I thought. Yo. It's nuts. What are you doing here? I thought you left town. I saw you go in here, so I followed you. Have you been following me? I couldn't get out. All the roads out of town are blocked. Cars have completely stopped running. The phones and radios are still out too. What about my daughter? Did you see her? I did see a girl. What? Was it Cheryl? I only caught a glimpse of her through the fog. I went after her, but she vanished. I don't know about your daughter, but... And you just let her go? Where was it? On Bachman Road. She was heading towards the lake. Now don't get excited. It wasn't like she ran off, exactly. There was no place for her to go. The road has been obliterated. What? So then Cheryl... It was like she was walking on thin air. In the fog? Hmm? What about you? Anything? Yeah, I met this bizarre woman. Her name's Dahlia Gillespie. Do you know her? Dahlia Gillespie? No. Hmm. And? She said something about the town being devoured by darkness. Gibberish like that. Any idea what it means? Darkness devouring the town? Must be on drugs. <laughs> they sell them to the tourists. I mean, is this the really... The force still can't figure out who's behind it. Is this really the craziest? None of our leads have panned out. Thing. You have to and the investigation is stalled. What could drug trafficking have to do with all this? Hmm. Right. I really don't know. But maybe that's the darkness she was talking about. That's all I can think of. Hmm. What's this? Just discovered it. Maybe there's something back there. Let's have a look. Hell yeah. Wait. We don't know what's back there. I'd better check it out first. Dude, she's a cop. I'm a cop. I should go. And plus, you can see right there. No. I'm going. Alright. I'll cover you from here. Thank Be you. Be careful. If anything looks fishy, get back here on the double. Okay. Sybil? Yeah? Do you know anything about... Well, like some other world? It's like some kind of bad dream. What are you talking about? I'm not quite sure. I try to make sense of it, but then my mind goes blank. My mind? Everything's dark there and I hear sirens in the distance. I met this nurse, Lisa. It's like I was there, but not really. It's all a blur, like some kind of hallucination, you know? I have no idea what you're talking about, Harry. Oh. I was just wondering. Never mind. 
Harry. You're tired. Yeah, maybe. Maybe just a little bit. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this, Harry. Let's see what we find. Okay, another hole. It's probably just like all the other... Okay, never mind. What's this? Some kind of altar. Never seen anything like this before. Me neither. Maybe this is the other church. Okay, so I can't do anything. Oh. I bet it's a trap. No. No trap. What the? Oh shit, you done pissed them off. Harry? Are you okay? Harry? Lisa? Then I'm in the hospital? You were having a bad dream. If I? Was I? Hey, you don't look too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Nothing you need to worry about. Maybe I should well, worry. If you're sure. Lisa, do you know a woman named Dahlia Gillespie? Oh yeah, that crazy Gillespie lady. She's kind of famous around here. She never sees anybody, so I don't know that much about her. But I heard her kid died in a fire, and supposedly she's been crazy ever since. The fuck? Well, she says the town is being devoured by the darkness. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? Um, the town devoured by the darkness. Yes, I think I do. Before this place was turned into a resort, the townspeople here were on the quiet side. Everybody followed some kind of queer religion. Weird occult stuff. Black magic, that kind of thing. As young people moved away, the people figured they'd been summoned by the gods. Evidently, things like that used to happen around here all the time. Before the resort, there really wasn't anything else out here. Everyone was so flipped out, you gotta blame it on something. Then a lot of new people came in and everybody clammed up about it. A cult? Last time I heard anything about it was, gosh, years ago. When several people connected with developing the town died in accidents. People said it was a curse. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I'll shut up. 
you're actually telling us really good information. I would like to learn a little more. Please don't shut up. Was that another dream? Did I pass out again? Yo, what the fuck? He's really tripping hard. And another symbol. That's very lovely. Let me go ahead and save right here. Okay. Fuck. Yo, he just ate my dick. <clears throat> We're gonna go back. Damn, I'm way up there. Yeah, dude, this is antique up there. That's funny shit. Damn. Well, I got some running to do. Um, heal. First and foremost. And run like a motherfucker. Yo! Damn, and all the streets are fucking steel now. Oh, shit! Dude, there's nowhere for me to go. Oh. Oh, they're like frogs! What the fuck? They're playing leapfrog. Oh shit. Oh! Oh my god, am I safe? <laughs> oh my god, dude. What the fuck? Alright. So, I am probably have to go through here and end up in the back. I ain't coming down and around. Alright, I'm gonna go pull out my shotgun and I'm gonna reload that. Oh. I guess. Cool. Oh, okay. more scary shit. Yeah, it's a spot. 